So yeah, how uh, I guess how important are uh, you know opportunities like this for the consumers to actually interface with the with the utility and with the board that makes these decisions? You know, how does that uh, I guess um, impact the work that you do with the consumer? Sure, um, I represent consumers, but we don't have a lot of face-to-face -face contact in the regulatory area. So these meetings are very helpful for me to understand why the consumers uh, have issues if they have issues with a rate increase, and they usually do. I think it's very beneficial for the board to have the same type of information, and it's better to have it in person than it is when it's written, because you actually understand the concerns. We actually requested more meetings than the line originally suggested, and the board agreed to that, and we actually had 10 meetings throughout the state for this reason. Okay. And uh, I guess, you know, compared to the other meetings around the state, are you hearing pretty much uh, what you heard today? I mean, you know, it's pretty consistent, and it is from uh, uh, rate proceeding to rate proceeding. Um, what you do is, in some instances, you have more increases in a shorter period of time, and that brings more concern out from customers. And um, I guess lastly, how... Uh, how quickly um, should consumers expect any of this to be resolved? Will there be another round of meetings like this, or will it then be stuck back to the board? There will not be another round of yeah. meetings like this. This is about a 10-month process, so there should be a decision, a hearing in October, and a decision by the board around December. Uh, if customers continue to have concerns, they can file them in writing on the board's website, and I think it's very important to have any customer that has a concern to do that. Okay.